Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to continue with my collection and declutter series and we are going to tackle single eyeshadows and pigments. It was really important for me to go through these because I know that there are some that I should pass on because then maybe if my collection isn't quite as overwhelming, maybe I'll use them more, hopefully. <laughs> Let me know if there are any of these singles that you see and you'd love to see me do a look with them. Maybe that would help inspire me to use some of these more. Let's get into the video. I hope that you enjoy it. So I have all of my single eyeshadows laid out right here and I've got my pigments in there. I'm not going to talk about the single eyeshadows that I have that are in Z palettes like my sugar pill ones and I do have a few that are in compacts but I'm just going to keep those over there. If you want me to go through shadows that I have in Z palettes or things like that then I can. Just let me know. I can definitely do that but for now let's just talk about some of these singles that I have and the pigments. So here are all of my ColourPop Super Shock shadows. I've gone through these before and I've gotten rid of a few, so I may not be getting rid of any of these just because I have already pared it down a little bit, but there may be a couple that I can still kind of decide that I don't need anymore if I haven't used them in a long time. I've mentioned that I don't love these as much as I used to. I definitely prefer the shimmery metallic ones, absolutely, but I don't know, they just aren't my favorite anymore. This one in the shade sequin, I'm not gonna show you the front of it because this one's in my project pan for 2018. So I'm just gonna, I just wanted to kind of point that one out and then I'm gonna set it aside because I don't want you to see it. This one is the shade So Quiche. This one I really do like actually. I don't use it a ton anymore. I used to use it like crazy. Uh, but it's just a super unique shade. So I'm definitely gonna keep that one. This one here, this is in the shade Get Lucky. This is a beautiful gold. <sighs> It's not the most unique shade in the world, but it is really, really pretty. I'm gonna put this in the maybe pile. I feel like if I'm going to use one of these ColourPop shadows, it's gonna be one that's like a little more unique. I don't know. This one is in the shade Chipper. This one's really, really pretty. That's a gorgeous color. So I'm definitely gonna keep that one. I wonder if you wanna see what that one looks like, cause that one is a very pretty one. That's beautiful. I do love that. Super, super pretty, fun for the summer. This one here is the shade Animal. Another really fun one for the summer. Um, some of these are getting a little on the dry side, so I need to kind of definitely use them a little bit more. But And the fun thing about this one is this one can actually be a blush too, even though it's not a blush, but it could be used that way. So I'm gonna keep that one as well. This one here is the shade On The Rocks. It's a beautiful bronzy shade. Again, not the most unique shade though. So I think I'm gonna put this in the maybe pile as well with the shade Get Lucky. These two here, I actually got rid of two of them from the collection, but these are both from the Coffee Break with Danny collab with ColourPop. I forget what the collection was called, but I, I can put it on the screen. But there were two, well, there was one matte and one satin maybe. I got rid of those already just because I, like I said, those weren't my favorites. I prefer these more shimmery shades. These though, so this is Kindness and this is Hope. These are like toppers. So I am gonna keep these because I feel like they're unique. I don't use them a ton, but they are really cool. You can even just put like, you know, some sort of cream shadow on your lid or regular shadow and then just put this on top and it just, it transforms the color. So it, these are really, really cool. And then this shade right here, this is so pretty. I just don't, like you can see, I. I really don't use this very much. Um, oh God, it's so beautiful though. It really is so beautiful. I think I'm gonna hang on to this and just try and like put this in a throwback Thursday sometime, you know, in the coming months because it's so beautiful, but it's just not getting the love that it deserves. So I'm gonna try and, and get myself to use this one a little bit more. So I have two from Stila, two kind of different ones. Um, this is one of their magnificent metals now they have those in the liquid ones i think that they still sell these but they probably aren't going to sell them for too much longer because they sell their other ones that are in like the doe foot but this is really pretty i don't use this a ton but like i really do love this Ooh, kind of crumbles out obviously it's really fun to like put in the inner corner because it's like really glittery it's a really fun shade and i don't wear this a ton especially because they don't i don't think really sell these anymore they certainly don't sell the shade anymore but it's really, really pretty and it is fun to pop in the inner corner. So I am gonna keep that because I do use that from time to time. And then this is like their classic kitten shade. I would definitely never get rid of this. This is one of my favorite shadows ever. It's just so gorgeous. All over the lid, as an inner corner highlight, as an, like a face highlight, it's just 
it's gorgeous. I, this one is a new one to me and I'm still not totally sure how I feel about it. I heard really, really good things about these. It's the J-Cat Prismetal Chrome Eye Mousse. It's, called, it's This one is in the shade below zero. So it is like a mousse. It's a really weird, you can kind of see that. It's a very weird formula, but it's a beautiful color. So I just, I don't know. I'm trying to like figure out how to wear this. I haven't tried it yet because I'm kind of like afraid of it, I guess. So if you've used these, please comment down below and let me know the best way to use this. I, I'm, I really do want to use this color. I mean, look how gorgeous that is, but I just kind of I don't know, I need to stop being so afraid of it and just use it, but it is beautiful and I, I, I'm I, definitely not gonna get rid of it because I haven't really tried it yet. <laughs> this here is from, what brand was this? Ardency In. So this is one of their Manuka Honey eyeshadows, pigments, yeah. This one's in the shade Orchid. These were like hyped up for a very short time. I don't really know what happened to them. No one really ever talks about them anymore. This is the only one that I have. And of course I got it in this gorgeous purple because I just love purple and it's beautiful. Again, another one that I should put in a throwback Thursday because I just, I just don't use it much anymore. I forget to use it. Honestly, that's the trend with a lot of these eyeshadows and why if you've watched my throwback Thursdays, a lot of times I put in some of these singles because I feel like with all the palettes that I have and even some of the shadows that I have like in my Z palettes, like a lot of these singles just get forgotten and I don't wanna forget them because they're beautiful and I just, I wanna use them. So that's why a lot of them end up in those videos because I just feel like I need a little extra help giving these attention because I just forget to use them, but they're so, so pretty. And this one is in the shade Solstice. So it's a really cool shade. And uh, you know, again, another one that probably needs some more attention, but it is just so, so pretty. These are really cool shadows. You know, they can be kind of sheared out, but obviously they are very glittery and beautiful. And this is just a very cool shade. You know, it's it's not like the most unique. A lot of brands come out with shades like this, but they're just so pretty. I really do enjoy this one. So I just need to give it some more attention. I know I'm like a broken record. I'm sorry. This one though, I'm definitely not getting rid of. I had heard about this from Jessica Braun. This is the Wet n Wild Single Eyeshadow in Brulee. This is not so easy to find. But, oh, and, and Robin's Cup of Tea, she also talked about this. This is a great shadow. It's like, I think it's 99 cents. It's super, super cheap. But the only place that I could find it, at least for me, I don't know about for you, but for me, I could only find this at Walmart. But this is such a great shade to use as like setting my primer, my eyeshadow primer. Um, it's just like an all-purpose shade. Like I use it as like sort of a very natural matte highlight underneath my brow. I'll use it if I've gone a little bit out of control with some of my shadows. I'll even use this a little bit underneath the eyes to brighten everything up once I've done my eyeshadow. I just feel like I can use this so much and I do use this constantly. So it's a good thing that it's 99 cents because it's very, very powdery. So I feel like I do waste a lot of the product because it just, it kicks up so much. But it is really good, you can see how creamy that is. I really do enjoy this shadow. So here we have some by L'Oreal. This one here, I'll just touch upon this one really, really quickly. This one is the Galaxy Lumiere Holographic Eyeshadow. Not holographic, but whatever. It's in the shade. I love the tape because if you don't keep the tape, that that's it. That's the only place where they have the name of it. It's super weird, but anyway, it's in the shade Crescent Moon. And it's beautiful. These are a little bit pricey, so I would recommend using a coupon or getting it on sale or that kind of thing. That's what I did, but it's beautiful. I really do enjoy this, either like all over the lid or as an inner corners, you know, kind of interesting, different highlight. I love that. So this is really pretty, but again, try to get these on sale because they're just a little bit overpriced. And then here I have all of my infallible eyeshadows. I don't know what their like exact name is, but they're like pigments. This one is in the shade Ice Latte. I had this in my last um, throwback Thursday video and you can see it sort of like it has this little stopper there to keep it all pressed in and these are just these are such good quality you get a ton of shadow in there and I mean they just last forever and they're beautiful I just don't need all of these because I don't use all of them I mean that's just the sad reality of it um, definitely not getting rid of ice latte though and I love the shade amber rush the shade is probably my absolute favorite one just even like just all over the lid. Oh, look how gorgeous that is. I mean, one quick swipe, they're just so good. Such good quality eyeshadows. I love these. 
this one I love. It's sort of like a rosy bronze color type of shade. I don't know. Beautiful. Definitely not getting rid of that one. I think I can probably get rid of this one bronzed taupe. You know, nothing wrong with it, but it's just not super unique. I know it's going back to the ColourPop issue too. You know, it's beautiful, but I just, oh, it is so beautiful. Oh no, see, this is what happens. I shouldn't swatch it because then I don't want to get rid of it. But I just feel like I have a lot of different things that look like this in like my single shadows that are in my Z palettes and, you know, shades that are in my palettes. Even though this is so gorgeous, I just don't feel like it's that unique. And I feel like somebody else should, you know, could give this a little more love than I do. So I'm going to put this in the past pile. That is gorgeous though. My goodness. I mean, somebody's going to really enjoy that one. I'll tell you. I have two green ones here, so I probably shouldn't keep both. This one's in the shade Gilded Envy. This one is Golden Emerald. I think I probably know which one I'm going to keep, but let's just take a look. Let's just not assume anything here. I'm gonna swatch them because I need to decide that way, but I feel like this one is probably more unique to me than this one would be. But let's see. I just have so much shadow all over my fingers, but let's see. This is the problem. I start swatching them and then I'm like, oh, but that's so pretty. Of course they're pretty. I mean, I, you know, I bought them, but yeah, see, they're both gorgeous. All right, I'm gonna put Gilded Envy in my maybe pile. <laughs> I know, I'm terrible. But I'm definitely gonna keep this one. The, uh, what is this one called? Golden Emerald. I'm definitely gonna keep this one. And then the last one that I have is Smoldering Plum. This one is very pretty as well, of course. I mean, it looks like I've hardly touched it, you know? I think that the problem is it's such a deep color that if I'm going for like a pressed pigment kind of thing, I don't typically go for like a shade like that. And I also kept this ColourPop one, which is a little bit brighter. So I think I am gonna put this one in the past pile and see if somebody else wants it. This one eyeshadow by Bobbi Brown, this is in Camel. Definitely not getting rid of this. I absolutely love this. It's such a great color and it's such good quality too. So, you know, pricey because it's Bobbi Brown, but love this. Another single that I'm definitely going to keep. This is by Clinique. This is the Black Honey eyeshadow and it's just beautiful. Uh, you know, I don't know if I would repurchase it just because, you know, it's pretty. I do like it. There's nothing wrong with it. It is unique, but still, you know, I just have so many things. So I wouldn't say that I would repurchase this once I use it up, which would be a long time from now probably, but I'm not going to get rid of it. So I have my Kat Von D shadows here. I'm not going to be getting rid of any of these. I'm just letting you know because <laughs> they're so good. Uh, so this one is in the shade Thunderstruck. This one was really hard to get for a long time. It's gorgeous. You can use this really any way you want, like all over the lid, inner corner, face highlight, anything. It's just, it's beautiful. This shade here is gorgeous as well. Such a great fall shade, even summer shade, honestly. This one's in the shade Dose. Oh my God. These shadows, I'm telling you, I mean, try to get them on sale if you can because they are an arm and a leg, but look at that. I mean, just unbelievably. I will swatch all of them for you because they are that good, okay. That's Thunderstruck, so beautiful, oh my God. This one is in the shade Black Number One, really unique shade, oh my God. These shadows, I'm telling you, this one is a little more sheer than the other ones, but like, it can be built up, as you can see. Just gorgeous, love that. It's like almost like a gunmetal, oh, so pretty. And then this is the most recent one that I got that actually I got like half off because it was like a weekly wow on Sephora. So keep an eye on that kind of thing because when you can get these shadows on sale, I mean, that's the best deal ever because you can see they're huge. You get a ton of product in them, but they're still very expensive. So it's worth it to get them on sale. This one is in the shade Paranoid. Oh my God. So, so beautiful love these. I would love to have all of these, but I would want to get them on sale for sure because they're just expensive. These two here are by NYX. They are there. Let's see. Prismatic Shadows. So this one is in Fireball. This one is in Golden Peach. They're beautiful. I really like these. I don't really think that I need both of them. I don't know why I got like two shades that are pretty similar. I don't know. They're not as similar as they look, I don't think, but I probably just don't need both of them. All right, let me swatch both of them and then I can make a decision that way. See, they look, they're different for sure, but they look very similar when you swatch them. I'm a little torn just because I feel like this one, Fireball, is a little more vibrant, but I feel like it's a little more similar to like Dose, for example. It's not quite as dark, but it's a little more similar. So I feel like this one, Golden Peach, is a little more unique 
to me. So I think I'm going to pass on Fireball and I'll keep Golden Peach because even though this is a little more sheer and natural, it's not a bad thing. And it's just, it's a little more unique to my collection than this one is. So here are all of my NARS shadows. I even included my duos just because... I mean, that's the only really like the category that they would fit in. So we'll do those and then we will go into my pigments. All right. So these here are their dual intensity eyeshadows. And these, these were pricey for sure. I, this one I got first, this one in Europa and it's beautiful. I, I just, I don't know why I got this shade. I feel like I would have liked a different shade better. So I'm going to see if someone in my family or friends want it because, I mean, it, it was expensive, but I kind of feel like I don't really need this one. This one I'm definitely keeping. This one is called Pool Shark. This was limited edition in some collection. I don't remember which one, but oh my God, this is so pretty. This one was worth it to me. I'm definitely glad that I got this one. This one I'm, I kind of regret getting. I'm definitely keeping that one, but I'm gonna pass on the other one. So the two singles here that like are their regular eyeshadows. So this one is in Galapagos. This is a gorgeous shade. I love this. I would definitely not get rid of this one. Um, just beautiful. And then this one was a limited edition one from the Christopher Kane collection. This one is in my current uh, Throwback Thursday video. So I'm gonna need to use this one a little bit more. It's beautiful. I don't even think that you're getting the full effect of it on camera, but it's gorgeous. It's almost like a pressed glitter. You can see that. I mean, wow, it's so, so beautiful. So I, I'm very excited to use this more this month. Here are all of my duos. I don't think I'm gonna get rid of any of these actually. This one was the first one I ever got. It's called Jule Poupe. I can never know exactly how to say that, but that's what it's called. And I don't think you can get this one anymore, which makes me really sad because as you can see, I love this one. And I put this in my last month throwback Thursday because I needed to give it more attention. But obviously I used to use this like crazy and it's beautiful. It's so, so pretty. I wish that I would be able to get this again because I'm sure that I'm gonna use this one up at some point. Um, but unfortunately I, you can't. I don't even think these come in singles, which is a shame. But anyway, I love this one. This one here was, a, I believe it was a limited edition one, but it was, it's called St. Paul Devance. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce a lot of their stuff, but anyway, it's a, just a really great natural one. And I do use this one a lot, actually. If I just need like a very quick look, you know, I can just use both of these shadows or just, you know, sometimes I'll put this one like all over my lid and in my crease and I'll call it a day, honestly. They're just really pretty and it's just an easy one to use. And this one, oh, this is gorgeous. This was in the shade Kuwai, Kuwai. It's so, it's so pretty. So, so pretty. Oh my God, really like. Oh my gosh, I love these so, so much. I really want to get the one in Isolde. That one would be another easy, good, like just beautiful one to use. I really want that one. But these are great, these duos. I love their singles too. But their duos are really cool. I love them. I think I'm probably going to be keeping most of these just because I just kind of feel like I... I'm very careful in picking out what pigments I want, especially the more pricey ones. And I feel like I pick out shades that are unique and I do, you know, I do that on purpose. And they're ones that are going to last a long time because they're pigments, uh, loose pigments, of course. I may not use them all the time, but I really enjoy them. I'm actually wearing one of them today and I'll point that one out when we get to it. Let's go through my sugar pill ones first. I think the first one I ever got was Penelope. This is a beautiful one. It's a little bit more chunky. So it's like almost like a glitter, but oh my God, it's so beautiful. Definitely not getting rid of that one ever. This is another one that was pretty early on to me. This one is mint soda. <sighs> these are so good. I mean, if you like to play with some of these type of things, I know that this can be, you know, a little more of a pain to use than like just regular press shadows, but they're so worth it. It gives you an effect that you would not get with a press shadow. This one is in the shade Countess. Also really, really gorgeous. Oh my God, do you see that? It's like a beautiful, like, like, fuchsia purple and then it's got like bluish glitter in it oh my god I just oh I love these so much and then this one is in the shade magpie beautiful blue and this one I haven't even used yet this is new I actually got this because I saw they were discontinuing this one so I was like oh I have to grab that because I really want to give this a try and do like an all yellow look I think it'd be really fun it's called high viz 
and it's it's gorgeous it's just gorgeous I don't know why they're discontinuing it but it's just yellow with lots of yellow glitter and I'm so excited to use them the newest ones to me are these ColourPop ones I think these are all of them I actually only ordered three of them and they one of the ones that I had ordered, they accidentally sent me a different one. So then they sent me the original one. So now I have four of them. The only complaint that I have honestly so far, well, I have two complaints to be quite honest with you, um, is that first of all, uh, you can't see what they look like. So unless you know like which one is which, then you're not gonna know which one you're looking for, you know, which is kind of a pain. So you have to like keep opening them. The other thing is, of the ones that I've tried, because I haven't tried, I think I haven't tried these two yet, Cameo and Mulholland. Mulholland is the one that they sent me by accident. I haven't noticed a great staying power. And, you know, I use my trusty, you know, primers and whatnot. Like I use, you know, glitter primers and things. So I'm going to keep giving them a try. And of course, I'm going to use the shades that I haven't used yet. But I don't really notice the staying power to be as good as some of my other ones. So I don't know. That's just one thing that I do notice. Yeah, so they have this like little like hole. So you can see that's, I haven't used this one yet. Um, but this is a beautiful like bright sort of orangey coral shade. Really, really pretty. I'm excited to use that one. Then we have Baby Rue. This one is really pretty. I, I did really enjoy using this one. So that's that's very, very pretty. It's up my alley for sure. I love purple. And then this one, Badlands, another really, really pretty one. Another beautiful purple. This is the one that they didn't send me that they were supposed to and sent me Mulholland instead. Um, oh, I guess I've used this one too. <laughs> so I guess the only one I haven't used is Cameo. But anyway, this is, you know, a beautiful like sort of bronzy shade and probably I should keep this and not keep this ColourPop one that I was saying is very similar to a lot of bronzes that I have. Yeah, so maybe I'll keep this ColourPop and I will pass on this. Or maybe I'll, oh, they're both ColourPop. Ugh, I was like, what am I What am I saying wrong here? I'm gonna keep this ColourPop pigment and I'm gonna get rid of this Super Shock shadow. I have one by Obsessive Compulsive Cosmetics. It's hard to say. It's in the shade Static. They sell that on Beautylish and um, it's really, really pretty. A beautiful periwinkle color. So I love that one. So this one is by Too Faced. It's called Nude Beam. I believe that this came, and you can tell it's like a little mini size. This came as a little pigment with the Vegas Nay palette, I'm pretty sure. And it's beautiful, but I wanna compare it to some other things because I feel like I have a few in here that are kind of similar maybe. I'm sure they're not super similar, but they kind of, they do the same thing. So I wanna see if maybe I don't need all of them. This is very pretty though. Yeah, so I have this one by The Bomb. It's called No Money, No Honey. So that's cute. Um, so again, I kind of feel like these are a similar idea. So I'm gonna hold these off to the side and kind of compare them. Let's go through some of my MAC pigments here. I think these are all of my MAC ones. So I have some of these mini ones, which if you can get these mini ones, that's the greatest thing because look how much product is in there. I mean, this is a full size. You'll never like, you'll never go through something like this if you're a normal person. So this is actually the one that I'm wearing today. You'll, you will see that again at the end of the video, but I wore it of course in the beginning of the video as well. So just if you didn't really pay attention, you'll notice it at the end, but this one is called Old Gold. It's a really cool color. And um, I do really like that one. And then I've got, let's see, I have Naked, I have Tan, and rose tan and rose are also like they're two of my favorites i absolutely love these so i'm definitely not getting rid of these this one i think that i might i feel like these are pretty similar um and then same thing with this one this one has more like glitter in it so i think that i'm gonna kind of put these two aside and maybe i'll keep the two-faced one i almost hate to do that just because this one was limited edition but uh, that's okay. I, I like this one the best, so that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> I've got one by NYX, which, I mean, honestly, I don't use a ton. Although you can see I've used it. Oh, it's a good thing I'm on my side of the bed, though, and not my husband's, right? Ugh, this one's messy. That's, like, kind of the problem with this one. But the Ultra Pearl Mania, I don't even know what this is called. Do they even sell these anymore? I'm not really sure. It's really pretty, but I have other purples that I like better than this one. It's just okay. There's nothing wrong with it. Um, it's just not my absolute favorite and I feel like it's similar to that ColourPop one 
So I think I'm gonna just put this one aside. So I have two by Makeup Forever. This one in 13 and this one in 02. 13 is one of my absolute favorites. This one is really pretty too. Um, I actually have this on my inner corners, brightened up a little bit, but you can see it sort of has like a yellowy gold effect to it. I don't know if you can really see that, but you can see it a little more in the lid actually. But both really, really gorgeous. So keeping both of these. I have these by Makeup Geek. So you can see a couple of these are in their old packaging. And then I have a couple in their new packaging. This one is in the shade Insomnia. This is sort of that classic like blue-brown shade. And you can see like they used to be really, really messy. And so they've improved that big time. I'm going to kind of close that over here. And then this one in the shade Utopia is... Oh, I love this. I'm whispering, but like, I don't know why. It's just so pretty. See, they added stoppers and then they even improved it even more. It's really beautiful. And if you like build, like really pack this on, oh my gosh, it's so pretty. And then these two are newer ones. So this one is Wildfire. This one is Kaleidoscope. And they're sort of like duochrome ones. They're beautiful. You can see that. I love both of these. So definitely keeping both of them. And then last but certainly not least, I have my... Inglot ones, which are amazing. I love these Inglot ones and I really would love to get more of them. They're such good quality. Oh my gosh, so, so good. This is 65 and this one is 31. So this one is a beautiful like brown shade. It looks boring, but believe me, it's, it's gorgeous. And this one, I'm wondering now that I'm looking at it, if it's similar enough to the L'Oreal one that I could keep the Inglot and not keep the L'Oreal one. Let's see. I mean, obviously they're different, but let's just see if they're close enough for my liking. I mean, obviously the Inglot one is one on the top. It's a little bit brighter, but I feel like I don't, I don't need both. So maybe I would keep the other one that I thought maybe I would get rid of, the this um, Gilded Envy. Maybe now I'd keep this one instead because then they'd be, it'd be more different. Let's see. So that's the Inglot right there. That is the Golden Emerald. And then this one is the Gilded Envy, which is a little more different. I'm definitely gonna get rid of the Golden Emerald and I'm gonna keep the Inglot, because I think that those are similar enough. Obviously they're not exactly the same, but I feel like they're similar enough that I don't need both, especially a color like that. But I do think I'm going to get rid of this one as well because even like it actually doesn't appear as beautiful like swatched out like that as it does when you look at it here. Like it, I don't see the green as much, which I really wanted. So I don't think I'm going to keep either of these. I think I'm going to put both of them in my past pile. And so then I only have one left in my maybe pile and that's the ColourPop eyeshadow in Get Lucky. It's pretty, but I have other golds. I can definitely put this in my past pile. All right, everyone, so that is it for my single eyeshadow and pigments collection and declutter. I hope that you enjoyed watching. I don't have too much more in these collection and declutter videos. I've got nail polish and then, I don't know, let me know if there's anything else that I'm missing. I could do sort of miscellaneous. Um, I don't have enough bronzers that I would need to like declutter any. I like all of the bronzers that I have. So if you just want me to maybe throw that into you know, another video, or I could just do a bronzer collection. So let me know what you want to see. Uh, then we'll be done with these for now. I'm sure we will revisit these, you know, maybe next year or another two years or something, whenever I feel like, okay, it's time to do this again. If you like this video, please make sure and give it a big thumbs up. That really does help out my channel so much. If you are not subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. I would love to have you stick around and I really hope to see you next time. Bye.